the similarities between Venus and Adonis and Dido? There's quite a lot, actually. I mean, Blow taught Purcell, so there's obviously a connection there, and it's apparently known that Purcell attended the first performance of Venus and Adonis. The structure is the same, it's three acts, although the blow has a prologue, which apparently at the time um, Purcell's also had. So when you're performing the pieces, you feel a lot of these similarities just structurally, you're not even aware of them, sort of subconsciously. Certain things with the harmony and the structure of the scenes, especially the final scene, it has lots of the hallmarks of, the, of Dido. Venus demonstrates quite an evolved idea of what a relationship might ideally be. In the section when Adonis wants to carry on spooning and noodling <laughs> and she's urging him to go off and hunt, there's very much a sense that their love life is part of a greater whole <laughs> as people and that having these other realms can only bring more to their life as lovers. And it's just a stunning piece of music. Um, the interaction, it sounds so modern, like a lot of the best early music. Um, it sounds fresh. It's these harmonic turns which grab you and take you where you don't expect. Um, and dramatically, it just has this real spice to it. And it's so sad, the very ending. It's beautiful.